Hi, I'm Noah Julian. In a previous video, we talked about bracing the abdominals with a posterior tilt in the pelvis where you've tucked the tail and you found a rounding of your lumbar spine. We're gonna put that together today with a rounding through the upper abdominals as well. So if you come into your back, you can place the soles of your feet on the ground just to get set up. In that last video, we made a triangle, thumbs touching, index fingers touching. And I'm placing my thumbs at my navel, index fingers are pointing down towards my pubis. And I'm just using this as a marker as I try to roll an imaginary marble toward my index fingers. That would be anterior tilt where I've created lumbar curve. And I'm going to roll that marble toward my thumbs so that I have tucked my tail and I've eliminated my lumbar curve. Now with that, I'm going to start to round up like I'm reaching my chest up toward the ceiling. So that's helping me to find my upper abdominals. While I keep this bracing of the abs so that my lower back doesn't change, I'm lifting my feet very carefully with no change in the torso. Legs could reach up to the ceiling and become very active as I'm pointing through my toes and finding that reach. And I'm just gonna lower my legs only as low as where I'm not gonna lose this stability through my lower back. If you need some support for your neck, the hands can always be behind your head. And if you feel like you're good right here, you can challenge yourself through the upper abs by starting to extend through the arms and feel where you're reaching down while still rounding up through this uh, upper back right here, keeping the upper abs engaged. And you'll hold there for a prescribed amount of time. Uh, thanks a lot.